Rounds. Well, James Shelton, he is Chief Investment Officer at Canale Trust, and he joins us now from Houston, helps to manage $1.9 billion in assets. James, a welcome. What do you think Thank about you. what's going on with the banking group? Well, I think investors are grappling with what the ultimate exposure is going to be for some of these banks. Uh, in addition to all of the credit losses and write downs that we've seen, I think investors are also wondering what will be uh, the future earnings power of some of these banks given that uh, we've seen this collapse of the subprime market that drove a lot of earnings growth in the last few years. We just had a guest on earlier, James, talking about Goldman Sachs actually as a stock pick. I mean, do you think there are some companies, his argument was that Goldman is managing some of their subprime losses better than their competitors, for example, Citi and Merrill. So do you think within the group there are are companies that are managing better? I think there's no question that companies like Goldman have done a better job in this environment, but I think investors are still very concerned uh, over what that ultimate impact is going to be, and I think it's going to take some time before we know uh, what the true losses are going to be here and move on past that. James, not too much time left, but later this week there's sort of going to be a shift in accounting. We're going to see a little bit more what level three assets these banks have on their books. Is that going to be important for sentiment or not? I think there's no question that it's going to be important for sentiment. I think all of the volatility that we've seen over the last few weeks has just been centered around what's going on with the banks. And so any okay. new news that we get regarding Level 3 is going to be important. All right, James, we are going to take the bell right now, but hopefully you'll sit tight and we'll come back to you shortly. Well, we are back right now with James Shelton. He is the Chief Investment Officer at Canali Trust. Thanks very much, James, for staying with us. What do you think about the Dow being below 13,000? I think it's a little bit of a disappointment after some of the strength that we had this morning. Uh, but we still think that, that investors are being a little bit too pessimistic at this point, And we're starting to see some good opportunities emerge in this market. So good opportunities. Just to recap for us, we know uh, earlier you made a few, but as far as general groups go, where are they? Well, I think it's you have to focus on very high quality companies in this type of a market environment. Those companies that have very strong balance sheets, lots of good cash flow generation, it don't have the need to tap the credit markets at this point in time. And a lot of those names are, are found in, uh, in large cap stocks, particularly uh, large cap growth uh, within the industrials and in the technology sectors. Do you make anything of the NASDAQ also actually on the verge really of joining the S&P and the Dow and moving below the 200-day moving average. Yes, the techs have been very weak here recently. I think investors are selling a lot of the names that have worked very well uh, on a year-to-date basis. But a lot of these companies are generating a tremendous amount of cash flow, and valuations look pretty attractive to us. So I think there are some select opportunities that are emerging in the technology sector. And you don't think, it, okay, so you do think there, there are opportunities in tech. And overall, the volatility here to stay or not? I think the volatility is here to stay at least for a few more months here as investors try to come to grips with what the ultimate impact is going to be of the subprime crisis. All right, James, thanks so much. James Shelton, Canelli Trust.